West Ham have been strong here. Points on the road have proved elusive for Southampton. It's a long time since a top-flight win for the Hammers against Southampton. The Saints were the ones that came out on top last season. They stayed the course and made it to the Barclays Premier League without recourse to the playoffs. West Ham took the more glamorous route. They both hold bigger ambitions than last season today. Nathaniel Klein is still inside West Ham territory. Schneider Lynn. This is Rodriguez. Look at the problem. He has started the game very brightly. This is a real astute attempt from the front man. He has the keeper, Musi Jaskalainen, really worried. Jarvis could run from Diame. And look for another corner and get it. Scored an absolute wonder goal from that kind of position a couple of weeks ago, didn't they? Got a little nutmeg and then whipped it into the top corner. Reed is there. Collins and Carroll also. This time set pieces haven't really found either of them. They still have the line, it's Collins. Better than he another, thought, isn't it? Yeah, another corner. It's well defended. Hoyvald is complaining, he feels that he's been pulled in the shirt there. Plenty of optimism, I think, if you're a fan travelling up from the south coast. No points and no clean sheets away from home as yet for Southampton, but they're halfway there. And West Ham are probably the ones who need to change more, but that looks late. <laughs> more of the same for Andy Carroll, what he had throughout the first half, at least this time, the referee goes his way in terms of the decision. Sam Allardyce will say he wants much more creativity from his side. We can start with a set piece, this is noble. Just it in towards Carroll and Collins! I don't know if he got a touch or it went all the way through. He'd certainly like it. Either way, West Ham lead. I think it's Noble's goal for me. I think James Collins doesn't get any kind of touch, but he does distract Arta Boric. And that's enough for it to find the back of the net. How often do we see this? And the goal that West Ham have so vitally, so desperately wanted. It wasn't even a ball that was pinged into the box, played in at pace, it was just drifted in and you have to say that the goalkeeper's culpable. You could look at the defenders also, they drop very deep, but the goalkeeper should be doing much better. This is Ben Ayoun, real options here, it's two! Kevin Nolan! West Ham are in dreamland. Two quick goals and Southampton's good first half work is wiped out. Well, I started the second period saying out easy. That first 45 minutes it was for Southampton defensively. And a couple of questions asked at the start of this second period and they've been found wanting. Davis worked his way around Andy Carroll well. Rodriguez worked the space well. Still Rodriguez, Lalana! Southampton have one back. And what a strike from Adam Lallana. They have a lifeline. Game on. He takes it brilliantly, Adam Lallana. Rodriguez trying to just get that little yard of space just to engineer a shot in on goal. I'm unsure if this is a shot or a pass to Lallana. It is a pass. This is Davis. Real momentum and impetus about Southampton now. Lana looks for the free kick and gets it. Well, he was, you're right, Jonathan. He was always looking for that free kick. I think this might be his first touch of the game, you know. It's going to be Ricky Lambert. Jaskalainen didn't move. He was leaden footed, was Jaskalainen. He was just hoping and praying. The Finnish goalkeeper. It was a set piece from not far off this sort of position that Mark Noble drifted all the way in. towards Colin and Reed. Carroll wants a penalty this time, and he has it. Well, I've got 
to see this one again. I thought it was Andy Carroll's hands that went up on this ball. All the Southampton players are very unhappy. Oh, yeah, it's the arm, isn't it? He scored a penalty here on Valentine's Day against Southampton last season. Mark Noble does it again. West Ham have three, and that could be the end of the Southampton comeback. Yeah, West Ham have their cushion again, and that may just be the three points for the home side. Self-inflicted. by Lallana. Lead away. Pressure from Southampton here. Lallana, Mayuka, Lambert's waiting at the far post. Mayuka back in. This time Escalana's in the right place. Yeah, difficult for Mayuka when it pops back to him. Well, good play. It makes sense to bring on Jordan Spence. OK, they've still got a little bit of work to do to see this one out, but only probably five minutes or so with a bit of stoppage time. This is my guess, that's real chance to run at the Southampton defence, he's doing that all right! Oh, yes! What an introduction! Brilliant goal from Monibo Maiga. An absolute stunner from Maiga. Just cuts inside of his marker and just feeds it into that far far corner what to do for the Southampton boss before their trip to Spurs he's learning about this league as well as his players are on the pitch a brilliant second half of football from Salah versus West Ham has secured all three points here emphatically Mark Noble, the architect, and the inspiration with two of them. Kevin Nolan's second in between the Noble goals gave West Ham the belief that they could go on. Moni Bermaiga came off the bench to seal it with the pick of the bunch. There was a brief time in the second half when Nigel Adkins' side looked like getting back into it. Adam Lalana's goal just gave them hope at 2-1. That was quickly snuffed out. It's another away day to forget. Full-time score, West Ham 4, Southampton 1.